What is the Cancun Visa Tax? I know it's confusing because I've been confused by it, which is why I decided to do a separate video on it, tell you what it is, what it's not, how to pay it, and whether or not you should pay this tax. So to understand what the Visa Tax is, we have to know what it is not. And this is where the confusion starts because of all the different taxes that you're seeing, maybe in your airline tickets, when you're leaving the resort, and now there's this visit tax. And they even refer to it as a tourist tax, sometimes even a departure tax. And if you look at the breakdown of your airline ticket, in fact, this is my actual airline receipt from my last trip to Cancun, you will see there's a line item for both the Mexican tourist tax and the Mexican departure tax. So like so many others, I thought I was already paying this tax. But they are completely different. So the tax that you see in the cost of your airline is a tax imposed by the country of Mexico versus the visit tax. It is a state tax imposed by Quintana Roo, where Cancun is located. So what about the environmental tax that you pay at the resorts when you're checking out? And nope, they are completely different taxes as well. So then what is this visit tax? Well, now that we know what it's not, let me tell you what it is. So it's a fairly new tax. It started in April, 2021. Again, like I said, by the state of Quintana Roo, where Cancun is located. But not a lot of people know about it just because there has been a grace period, obviously with COVID, and they are still trying to figure out how to exactly enforce this tax. And it is referred to as a tourist tax because it's supposed to go to preserve what the tourists love about this area, which is the beaches, the coral reefs, the state parks. And unfortunately, that's one of the downsides of a place like Cancun that sees so many tourists every single year that it can really contribute to the damage of their natural beauty. So how much is the tax? Well, the tax is $15 a person, about $15 when you break it down from pesos to US dollars. And anyone over the age of three must pay the tax. So it is a pretty low investment, but I get it too. If you're traveling with a large family, it can certainly add up. Is this a mandatory tax? And I think there's still a lot of confusion around that. So this last time that I went to Cancun, I was on a mission to find out everything I needed to know about the visit tax so that I could bring it to the channel. So the short answer is yes, it is mandatory. And the other question though is how are they enforcing it and how do you pay this tax? So first, how are they enforcing this tax? And I think that's still where a lot of the confusion lies. I think they don't know exactly how to enforce this tax. Now your travel agent will tell you that it is attached to your passport number. So anytime you enter Mexico, that's how you're tracked for your passport, your passport number. So they are going to encourage you to pay this tax just on that alone. Another place they are trying to enforce this is at the airport. So if you've been there recently, you may have seen the people approaching you at the bottom of the escalator, trying to get you to pay this tax. I went to the kiosk to get as much information as I could. Now, in my mind, I had already paid the tax because I saw the fees in my airline tickets. The guy did try to explain it was different, but I was not convinced. And he did tell me there would be a fine if I didn't pay it. Now, we didn't pay it only because we really weren't educated on it. Honestly, it wasn't because we were trying to get around paying the tax. There was just so much confusion with it. There's also a lot of scam sites that are associated with paying the visit tax. So how do you pay this tax? One way you can do it is actually online. They do have an official website. So like I just mentioned, there's a lot of scam sites out there. So make sure you are on the official website, which I will link in the description below. And on the website, they actually have a really nice blog about Cancun and they explain the tax. But to confuse you even a little bit more, the title is why you should pay this tax. So it doesn't say this is a mandatory tax, you're going to be fined if you don't pay it. They are simply trying to convince you why it is a very important tax to pay. And on their website, they have a secure place where you can pay the tax right then and there. The other option is you can wait till you get to the airport. So like I said, they have a kiosk, a QR code that you can scan and pay it pretty quickly before getting to security. Now they are also saying that the grace period is over. So there was kind of this grace period where COVID was happening. They were still trying to figure out the system and trying to educate tourists about this tax. So they probably will get stricter in enforcing this tax. How? I have no idea, 
maybe something at the airport, but at least now you know what it is, what it's not and how to pay it. So you can decide for yourself. I know personally, I will pay this tax the next time I go to Cancun because I love Cancun. I love all of the beauty that it offers. And I know as a tourist, I want that preserved as well. But I would love to know your thoughts about the visit tax. Again, this video is not meant to convince anybody of anything. I just want to provide you with the information. But I would love to know your thoughts. Maybe you've had experience with this and you can drop them in the comments below. And I do answer all comments and questions. So I hope this video has helped cleared up any confusion like I had about the visit tax. But if you do have more questions, just drop those in the comment section below as well. If you are new to our channel, please like and subscribe. Three Days Trace Noches brings you honest reviews, travel tips, and information about all the different travel destinations that we go to. We don't just go to Cancun, we go to Punta Cana, lots of different places. And we also show you that you can have an amazing vacation in a really short amount of time.